what's up guys jasmine here welcome to my youtube channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber from the title of the video you probably already know we are redecorating or giving my patio a complete makeover i've been living in this apartment for quite some time and the patio area has been completely neglected well i haven't decorated any of my apartment but that's besides the point since we are now social distancing and being in the house more than normal especially in summer I felt like I needed to have a space for myself to be able to get away from the kids and just relax and take a deep breath when needed so I'm gonna try not to talk so much but I just gather my cleaning supplies to go ahead and clean off the patio because it was really 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 dirty um, and I'm just hopping on the patio and hopping right into it so enjoy the cleaning process So I definitely feel like I did a lot of sweeping and as you can see like the vines were pretty much growing onto the patio so I just tried to get them back in front of the patio but it took a lot of sweeping. It was really dusty, there was pollen everywhere. I should have worn a mask because the next day I definitely did suffer. And in this clip, you can pretty much see the patio furniture. I just wanted to mention that I purchased this furniture from Kirkland when they had their 50% off sale. I don't think that they're available anymore, but I wanted to give a quick tip. If you plan on doing some type of outdoor like remodel, I would definitely wait until closer to the summertime to purchase because usually they put all their outdoor stuff out during like April, May, and then by like July, they start to put the things on sale. So I did get this for 50% off this wicker set and I absolutely love it. The chair I actually got for 50% off of 50% because the leg is bent, but it it's pretty strong and TJ sat in it, I sat in it, and I don't think that it would tip over. So yeah, and now I am scrubbing the rails it was really dirty like dusty and all of that and I just wanted to make sure that when I was sitting out there that I didn't have to worry about any dust or anything like that I also sprayed some like off I don't know what it's called it's like yard guard to keep the bugs away from the patio because we get a lot of like spiders not ants but spiders and mosquitoes where I live And I think it's really important to remember that it is still an outside space, so things are going to get dirty again. I just tried to make it as clean as possible 
for my own sake so I just wanted to clean out like the dirt off of the sliding guys door I didn't even, like go into detail but I just scrubbed 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 and then rinsed like with water over and over again until I got it to my liking And then here's where the fun really began. So I do have a mop that I use. I have like a cedar mop and Taishon used one of the heads before to clean off like the vinyl on the patio and then the patio. But we got rid of that one because it was really dirty and I did not want to use a clean one. And the one that we had taken out, like that's already attached to the mop wasn't that dirty so i decided just to use my outside broom that i use the front sweep the front or sweep the patio to kind of mop that area so i dipped it in the water and just mopped i know it seems a little bit strange but it actually worked out really well because anything else that was left over i was able to sweep off of the patio So here is pretty much the finished product. The railing is clean, the floor is clean, and I let that dry for a few hours and then I came back out to start to decorate. So I also purchased this rug from Kirkland's. I just went to Kirkland's one day when I saw they had 50% off and I was like, oh, I need this, I need that. So most of the stuff is from Kirkland's outside of the cushions. So I'm just trying to get the rug in a good position and I actually had to enlist in TJ's help because it was a little bit difficult but the rug is that plasticky material it's not 
it's not a rug, a real rug, but it's easy to sweep off and easy to clean, which was something that I wanted. I needed something low maintenance. TJ spills things, I spill things. So it works for us. And if it gets too dirty or too damaged, it was only $20 and I can replace it next year. So no big deal. So I went inside to get the cushions. The reddish brick color, I think that's the color that they're naming it, and the throw are from at home. I'll link those if they are available, but it's about to be full time. So I doubt it. But I purchased those from at home and I'm just decorating and doing a little bit of trial and error. So I finally got everything how I want it. That faux plant is also from Kirkland's. And then those two pillows are from Kirkland's as well. Again, everything was 50% off. Even that little like lamp in the middle is from Kirkland's. That throw is from at home. But as you can see, that space was a little bit bare. So later on in the video, you'll see what I did with that. I also went to at home and purchased the 20 by 20 pillows to go ahead and fill up that sofa. So I took those out and put those outside. All right, guys, so I need to hang up um, the last thing for the patio. And I got these little things. I don't know if they're gonna work. So let's go see. favorite part of decorating the patio because I purchased this hello sunshine sign from Kirkland's 
and I hadn't been able to get it up. I didn't want to put any nails in the wall because we're renting, obviously. And then I also didn't want to use like double stick tape because I felt like it would fall down. So this is a great find if you have vinyl walls outside like at your front door or wherever so I will link those I got these off of Amazon I will definitely link those in the description box and look how cute it came out All right, so here is the before. It was dirty, it was grimy, it was ugly, and there was no decoration at all out here. I am so happy with the way that this turns out. I sit outside almost every day now, whereas before I would be like, oh, I'm not sitting out there. And here is the after. I kind of switched it up a little bit towards the end, but this is pretty much what it's looking like. I did add two little chairs for the twins that they don't actually sit in, but it's there and put the plant over there. Um, yeah, it turned out really cute. Those chairs are from Target. They were like $6. I will link those because I'm sure that those are still available. And that is it. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate you checking this out. Leave me a like below and share this video with anyone that's looking for any patio inspiration. And let me know down in the comments what were your quarantine projects. Because I know we're all doing a ton. And I will see you guys in the next video.